Hey guys, I'm Lucas and welcome to KNews 64 about the upcoming launches of Ariane 5 and the crewed Soyuz rocket. Russia's workhorse has a core stage, which is surrounded by four liquid fuel strap-on boosters. On top is the upper stage, capable of boosting the payload, the Soyuz spacecraft, to a circular low Earth orbit. All of its stages burn kerosene and liquid oxygen to generate thrust. The slightly bigger Ariane 5 on the other hand uses a wide combination of different propellants. Its giant core booster burns hydrogen and oxygen, which is a very hot and therefore efficient reaction. However, it was designed for vacuum, so the majority of ground level thrust comes from the side mounted solid fuel boosters. On top is this time the less efficient L10 upper stage, which burns a toxic hypergolic fuel. It is used for payloads, which are directly injected into their final rather than transfer orbits. This time these are four Galileo satellites covered with a smaller than usual 40 meter tall fairing. Liftoff is scheduled for November 17th at 10.06 UTC and will take place as usual in French Guiana. The Galileo satellites are part of the European Global Navigation System, which is similar to the US GPS and the Russian GLONASS. Roughly half of the planned 30 satellites are already in orbit and are distributed over three orbital planes with inclinations of 56 degrees. The satellites orbit at an altitude of 23,000 km and will ultimately deliver better coverage in the polar region than its competitors. Once the other stage is released, it will do two burns. The first one will boost it to a transfer orbit, which is followed by a three hour long coasting phase. After that, it will perform its second and last burn, lasting eight minutes to then finally release its payload in pairs. Each Galileo satellite has its own name and is named by a member state of the European Union. This time there are Antonianna for Italy, Lisa for Hungary, Kimberley for Malta and Timon for the Netherlands. After a hopefully successful mission, the upper stage will begin with its passivation process. It has four small thrusters on the sides which vent off the remaining propellant into space without changing its trajectory too much by pointing the nozzles in opposite directions. This is done to avoid the upper stage from exploding, forming a debris cloud. There are quite a few challenges with such a maneuver since the propellants are not burned and could ignite in space once they touch. There is also a chance for the propellant to freeze and nobody wants to turn the upper stage into a giant machine gun shooting ice cubes. A few hours after Ariane 5 has finished its job, Soyuz will be ready for launch at 2020 UTC. It will take off from Baikonur, Kazakhstan and head to the ISS. On board are the astronauts Peggy Whitson for the US, Oleg Novitsky for Russia and Thomas Pesquet for France. All three will join Expedition 50 and continue as 51 after three months on the ISS. There are of course a lot of experiments going on on this station right now and to name one, Expedition 50 will continue to grow plants in microgravity. The veggie experiment is currently in its third iteration, growing lettuce in so-called plant pillows. These are filled with different mixtures to find out how to grow plants most effectively in space with an artificial light source. However, this research does also benefit applications on Earth. Future farming could be done inside tall buildings on multiple levels instead of open fields. Such planned factories could be placed inside cities, which would drastically decrease the amount of transportation and also space needed. Instead of destroying more and more natural habitats, we could actually give something back. Soyuz will arrive at the station after two days of catching up on a lower orbit. Having achieved the so-called rendezvous, it will then align with one docking port and bump into it, causing the docking mechanism to lock. Now in the end, a quick shout out to my patrons who support my monthly crowdfunding campaign. Thanks a lot and if you want to contribute as well, simply follow the link in the description. Okay, that shall conclude episode 64 and I hope to see you next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.